Thanks for coming out. Thanks for being here. This is exciting, man. Laughter, right? Fun. I, I love it. I love coming to Utah. I feel, I feel at home. I think that's what it is. And I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why, but I just feel like I fit in here. And I think maybe it's, it's what I wear. I don't know if... <laughs> maybe... Let me, let me explain why I wear what I wear and, and what I wear. I, see, I've been... I have a thing going here where I'm kind of getting a little... And the fat. I don't know if it's, ch it's not, I'm getting, putting on weight, I think is what is going on right here. And so I untuck to try to hide that. You know, you get some stripes and some untuck and all of a sudden, you know, you look skinny, but I'm not. And, <laughs> but it's not my fault. That's the thing. It's not my fault. I had a uh, hernia surgery recently and uh, the doctor told me that uh, it's not my fault. It's not from, you know, eating hamburgers and, and nachos and french fries and ice cream and, and pizza and chicken fingers and chicken nuggets and chip and dip and candy bars and uh, sundaes and uh, fish sticks and french fries and, you know, from laying around watching TV and, and watching movies and playing video games. It's... You know, it's not, it's, it's not from eating, you know, a lot of sundaes and, and, and frosted flakes and cereals and ho-hos and, and laying around at my neighbor's pool while they're out of town. It's not because of that. It's, it's, not, it's not me. It's the hernia surgery. So I, I've gotten some post-operative swelling. That's what he called it. It's medical jargon. I don't want to go over your heads. I know there's not a lot of doctors here, but the medical terminology is post-operative swelling because they do an incision right there and you get that swelling for seven or eight years. <laughs> Looking around, we a lot of hernia surgeries here tonight too, I've noticed. That's... Whoa. Y'all do a lot of heavy lifting around here? Is that... All right. <laughs> well, it's not our fault. <laughs> I do. I think I do. I fit in, though. And uh, I, I, again, I, you know, I'm trying to figure out... Because, see, I wear this. I, these are not my pants. But I wear this every time that I perform comedy. And I perform in the big cities around the country, like New York and Los Angeles and Chicago and Dallas and Springville. So when I go... <laughs> I always get people looking at me and they're like, oh, are you an accountant? Will you do my taxes? You're an accountant, right? You look like an accountant. Are you an accountant? I'm like, no, you're a narc. Are you a narc? This guy, he must be a narc. I don't even know what that means, but they whisper it, so I think it's secretive. You're a narc? Are you a narc? I don't have something to do with sleeping. But they're like, are you a middle school science teacher? Is that what you are, a middle school science teacher? Hey, a Republican. Hey, are you a Republican? You look... I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to... Trying to be comfortable. That's really all I'm doing. So that's why I like coming here, because people are like, oh, you're from Utah. So, so that, that comforts me. It really does. My name, Eric, uh, by the way, uh, is, uh, that's my first name. Uh, my surname is Hunter. And I didn't know that that was called a surname. I didn't know what a surname meant. And uh, one time this guy goes, hey, what's your name? I said, Eric. And he goes, what's your surname? And I go, Sir Eric? <laughs> Just say last name, okay? That's all it is. And Eric, Eric, by the way, is a Scandinavian word. I don't know if there's any Eric's out there, but you'll learn something tonight. Eric is a Scandinavian word. It means brave, all-powerful one. You ever notice that names always mean something good, don't they? They never mean anything bad, right? Like, you never hear anyone go, uh, my name? It's a uh, Latin word. It means urinary tract infection. <laughs> Dad named me that. He's a kidder. <laughs> I, uh, I do. I got a fun family. Irish, Irish Catholic family. So uh, big Irish Catholic family. Any Irish folks here tonight? You got any Irish? No, of course not. There's no. <laughs> you can tell I'm Irish. I'm getting a sunburn right now just standing up here under these lights. I have SPF 98 on, and I'm still going to peel in about 20 minutes. I mean, this is... I know, it's, it's not, and I have a fair complexion. That's what the team of dermatologists told me. That's right, I have a team of dermatologists. You have a fair complexion. Again, the medical jargon, I'll slow down if this is, 
You have a fair, when you're dating, I call it an unfair complexion. There's not a lot of women out there going, gosh, I hope he's ghostly looking. I want to see right through this loser. You don't see that on any profile page. You really don't. It's a, so it's not easy having this. That's all I'm saying. I'm not a hundred percent Irish. My mom is from Ireland, but my dad's not. He's from Scranton, Pennsylvania. So, <laughs> so uh, I guess technically I'm um, half Irish, half white. So, because <laughs> you know, I have that multi-ethnic background in me. You know, it's. Uh, I have to check other on the box, you know, because it's f very complicated. It really is. I, I get a lot of stares. People stare at me all the time like, what is he? What do you think? He's got some white in him. He's got some white. He's got a lot of white in him. I'll be honest with you. He's got a ton of white. There's a, it's the most white I've ever seen in one person. So people are staring at me all the time trying to, but I've endured, so. When I'm not doing this, I'm a stay-at-home dad, uh, and, I, and I love that. I don't have any kids. <laughs> so, so just, technically, I'm a stay-at-home, I guess. Uh, <laughs> officially, is when I'm lazy. That's my point. I am I'm very lazy, but I like being lazy. I think being lazy is good. You, you know, you avoid getting hurt. So, I don't have insurance, so the less I do, the less risk I have of having, you know, ending up in the ER. So that's my motto. Do as little as possible. Hey, and I, don't, I won't get uh, locked out of my apartment again. So, uh, if you don't go out, you don't get locked out. Thinker. I'm a thinker. I got great news today, though. I just found out about this. I'm very excited. I just found out. Just got the phone call uh, on my cell phone. They uh, is uh, on the at the hotel. They called me on the on the. I got an email. I think is it was a text. Uh, I, it, was, it was a Facebook. I got a tweet. Uh, actually, the, it was a carrier pigeon uh, that came by. I got a fax. The guy came by and he knocked on the door and he yelled, "This message." I just found out starting on Wednesday, I'm gonna be performing on my first cruise. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, nine of you up front. The rest of you didn't care. I was, I was, I was all excited about getting my first cruise. You're like, man, I, I own a boat. That's really not a big deal. That's a, my first cruise. Just got the call or the note. It's on Utah Lake. And, They don't start you out on the big ships, folks. Come on. You got to pay your dues. So you start out on your buddy's pontoon boat, and then eventually you work your way up to the big ships that have toilets that overflow. Everyone gets sick, and then it tips over. That's where I'll be in many years. <laughs> As a child, I was a bedwetter. That's, uh... Not my bed, my brother's bed. I would sneak into his room, just take a little bit. Then I would sneak back into my room. I was very crafty as a youngster. I really was. Good for me. I was... He would get in trouble. <laughs> I do have a fun family. I do. I love my parents to death. They've been married. They just celebrated their 47th wedding anniversary. Uh, so that's... Uh, yeah, that's how... Thank you. 47 years, that's a long time to be married in this day and age, so that's great. I love that they've done that. And I just celebrated my 49th birthday, so uh, we had a... We had a, <laughs> had a big party, a lot of celebrating going on. My parents are great. They have, a, they have a rule. Here's their rule of thumb. Here's how they've been married as long as they have. They have a, something they do all the time, and they make a point of it. No matter how many arguments they've gotten into with each other throughout the day, no matter how many fights they may have had throughout the day, they always make a point to do something nice for the other one before they go off to their beds. <laughs> God love them, I do, uh, they're great. They'd like to see me get married, they really would. I thought I'd get married. I uh, had a long time girlfriend uh, who dumped me recently. So, uh, 
That's it? That's all I got? It was, uh, it was like you're petting a puppy, man. Oh, so cute with the sweater on. Was, <laughs> I got dumped. It hurt. It really did. Right before Christmas, which I think was dumb, because then she didn't get her card. <laughs> If you're gonna dump me right before the big holiday, don't expect to get a Christmas card from good old Eric. So that one's on her. That's the way I see it. And we have been dating a long time too. We met uh, way back uh, during asthma camp. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> she, uh, she was a heavy breather back then. I don't know if it had something to do with me, but anyway, she dumped me. That's my point. She dumped me recently. She said that I was always correcting her and I didn't realize that was a, a thing. I didn't realize I was doing that. But she said, you know, you're always correct. So anyhow, she'd had enough. Comes over to my house to break up with me. She goes, Eddie, we need to talk. I go, my name's Eric. <laughs> she goes, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> I can't say anything right in this relationship. So we're done. Moving on. So she let me go. So... But, you know, I think uh, traveling, you know, may have had a lot to do with that, too. I, I do. I get to go around the country and perform, which is great. I was in Nevada recently. Anyone ever been there? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> About nine of you. All right. Uh, it's not that far, but um, they have airports and stuff and cars. But <laughs> I was performing at a big theater in Las Vegas, which I love to do. I love going to Las Vegas and performing there. Anyone been to Las Vegas? <laughs> It's only more people have been to Las Vegas on that particular poll there than have been to Nevada. Did it sound that way? You guys, is that, is that, did I hear that right? That was weird. All right, no more geography. That was my fault. I don't know if there's a lot of single women here tonight, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to start dating again because, you know, it's tough getting back to, in my last relationship, we just, we grew apart. We didn't have a whole lot in common. So I'm looking for, you know, a woman who maybe with similar interests, similar tastes, and instead of doing all the internet stuff, I just like to sort of speak my profile page, I guess is the best way. You know, talk to women, you know, because that doesn't happen a lot. So, I, I, you know, I love to cook and clean, and I love to lose arguments. <laughs> so I don't know if that would mean anything to any of you ladies out there, but uh, you know, if you're single and we have a little connection, I would love to chat after the show. So I'll be downstairs uh, after. My dad owns a jewelry store too, ladies. So uh, again, I don't know if that means anything to you, but uh, we got a lot of freebies uh, back at the mansion. If you wanna come by and take a look, and if that means anything to you, I'll be upstairs uh, after the show if you're single and we, you know, can just chat. My brother owns a haagen franchise as well. So, again, I don't know. I hope, you know, maybe we have a little something, a bond. That's really what I'm hoping for. So, anyway, I'll be outside there by the parking meter. There where the bike is, the chain there by the sidewalk. You know, you see that sign there the, where the red light is and there's, you know, where the mountain is. And I just won the lottery uh, as well, ladies. So I don't know if you're into money, but uh, I've read where you are. So again, I'm hoping that, you know, we might have a little something. I run a little puppy retreat uh, at my place as well, ladies. I don't know if you're into puppies, but we nurse them back to health and then find homes for them. So that's kind of a journey for me, ladies. So, you know, bunch of kittens too, brand new litter. Eyes haven't even opened yet. They really are cute. So I hope that means something to you, ladies, because it means a lot to me. It really does. So I'll be over there by that table after the show. I'd love to put like 20 pillows on my bed, too, ladies. Oh, I love that. Isn't that great? Just stack them all up so we can take them all off. And put them all back on and take them all off and put them all back on and take them all off and put them every night take them all off every morning put them all back I love that ladies that's my move right there so 
you know, if we have a little something there, I would love to chat. So I'll be backstage after this. Put pillows all over the couch so we can't even sit down. <laughs> oh, you should see my house. It's in my apartment. It's, uh, my duplexes. That's, that's we can. So I'm hoping that. I've got a lot of candles at my house, too. I don't know if you like candles, but I light them all the time. Wake up early in the morning, just light all the candles. Put them around the hot tub. So, you know, you just sit in the hot tub, and it's very soothing. It's very romantic. Put in the oils and spices and vinegars. So, if that means anything to you, I'll be at uh, Pier 1 Imports tomorrow. Maybe... You know, if that means anything to you, we can... I'll be there on Sunday as well, because there's nothing on TV on Sunday, so I'll be hanging out at Pier 1 Imports all day. There's nothing on TV on Sunday. I hate closet space, though. I don't want any closet space, ladies. Come, please. Two inches from my sweatshirt, okay? That's a house rule, it really is. That's all I need. So if that means anything to you, I would love to, I love to rearrange furniture for no apparent reason too. I'm, I'm move the big heavy stuff back to where we started and then just leave it there. Oh, it's my third favorite thing to do, ladies. So please, if that means anything to you, I would love to chat. So maybe we could watch that Lifetime Network. Do you ever watch? Do you get a lifetime? But please don't start clicking around to all the different channels, okay? I hate when they're always flicking the clicker every few seconds. Please put the clicker down and let's watch one show in its entirety, okay? That's, unless HGTV is on, then I gotta click over, right? Because if I miss the big reveal, oh, you don't even want to be around me. <laughs> Maybe we could listen to Delilah. You know, I love Delilah. So anyway, I'm hoping we have something in common, lady. And I love to sleep on the very edge of the bed, too. I, I love that. I'll hang on to the side and sleep there if I have to. I don't care. I don't care. I don't need blankets or pillows. You can have all that nonsense. Just toss me a hanky, maybe, or just flip me a doily. That's really all I need. I'll sleep down there at the foot of the bed so you can put your cold feet right up there. I will keep those nice and warm. Dig those toenails in there and draw blood, ladies. I love that. Thanks a lot. You guys were a lot of fun tonight. Thanks for having me.